Hi and Assalamu alaikum. My name is Lynn and I'll be your guided tour on this mindfulness walk, jog or run. It's the second one of the series on this Ramadan special. Some of you may be fasting and others not, but take it at your own pace. It's designed to be mainly a mindfulness walking meditation. However, you may wish to increase your speed a little bit if your fitness allows or you feel like you just want to jog a little bit towards the end. Bismillah, let's go. Take a deep breath in. Bismillah, allowing the oxygen to enter through the nasal passage and deep into your diaphragm. The oxygen then circulating around you as you relax all of your muscles from top to toe. Let's begin from the toes as you begin to walk, feeling the slight pressure into the ground, yet comfortable like sponges as the warmth of your blood begins to circulate and enter into the balls of your feet and your heels. You feel a warmth and a glow as the movement begins to take place and to almost oil you up with an illuminating light. The energy penetrating up through the ankles and into your calf muscles and your shins, glowing and wakening you up, alivening your spirit, up through to your soft knees, taking the weight, not feeling tense and just allowing the muscles all around the kneecaps to just loosen as you begin to walk, feeling the warmth around your joints which then escalate up through the quads and your hamstrings, warming up your entire thigh area. Your hips began to feel well oiled as they move swiftly left and right, feeling the movement and the energy as it grows and travels up through your torso, straightening you out just a little bit without tensing any of your muscles, feeling the warmth throughout every inch and centimetre of your back, relaxing the lateral muscles around the shoulder blades, feeling the relaxation as your shoulders just drop slightly. Notice that change. Notice the movement as you relax and became conscious of your shoulders, some of the weight and the worries that you've been carrying just dropping away from you as if they are leaves as they fall from the tree. Moving your neck slightly to the left and centre, to the right and then centre. Feeling any tension loosening up in your neck and the very base of your head at the top of the spine. Imagine that part of your head right at the back where many of our memories are stored, heavy. Imagine it illuminating, lightening the load and allowing you to feel completely present in this moment, lighter, as if your head feels half the weight that it did just now. The light continues to illuminate your whole entire face as if it was an orb. Your chin and your jaw becomes loose, even the tongue inside of your mouth lighting up, relaxing, moving away from the roof of your mouth. Your top lip and the area just below your nose loosens, taking a deep breath in, noticing the change of the temperature as the air hits the back of your throat, almost imagining and visualising the colour as it goes through into your body. Oxygen feeding your whole body, alivening and awakening. Just give your nose a little wiggle. Don't worry, no one will notice. 
just feel the difference as you then relax again. Up and down with your eyebrows, just slightly or more so. Don't worry about anyone else. Wiggle that forehead and then notice the feeling of relaxing. All of your worries that were there causing a frown are very insignificant and unimportant in this moment. As your torso and your core strengthens, yet the, all your limbs and your skin and your muscles all around you are glowing and relaxing, allow all that negativity to just burst through the top of your head, evaporating like steam into the air. Noticing your fingers just letting them relax, not allowing them to scrunch. If you're holding it onto a possession, some a bag or something similar, a phone or water, don't grip it too hard and just allow the weight to fall upon you rather than you to bear the weight of it. Comfortable now, we're going to play a game. A Ramadan game, one that will hopefully, inshallah, lift your spirits and help you to take something away from this guided session. Now slow your pace right down and then I want you to come to a stop, a little pause. If you need to move yourself across away from where there might be people or obstacles, then do that which you need to keep yourself safe and others safe. Just standing to one side. Now I want you to just momentarily close your eyes and trust in the process and in me. Can you do that? Get ready to close your eyes. Keeping them open for just one moment as I explain what it is that I want you to do. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and then when you open them again, I'm going to suggest something to you. Are you ready? Now close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, allowing all the muscles again around your body to relax as you breathe out. Expelling the carbon dioxide. One more breath in and out. Now open your eyes and the first blessing you see, name it. Have a real good look at that thing that you're looking at. Something that you consider to be a blessing. A gift from God. Really look at it. Thanking God. Saying Alhamdulillah. Being pleased with it. Being pleased with Allah and holding him in high esteem. Knowing that he is the provider of such a blessing. Okay, let's go. Carry on. Let's walk. Get back to the pace you were at before or you may even want to slow it a little. Just thinking about your blessing that you've just recognised. I wonder what it is and if you might like to share that with us later. Have a little think about it. Really ponder upon why you noticed it. What was so special about that blessing? I'm going to let you have a short moment alone thinking about that blessing. Breathing in and out with gratitude. 
in Surah Baqarah, in the same verses which Allah tells us about Ramadan and fasting, right in the middle of those verses in 186, he says, فَإِذَا سَآكَ عِبَادْ عَنِّي فَإِنْ قَرِيبٌ أُجِّبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِي فَيَسْتَجِبُ لِهُ وَلُؤْمِنُونِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يُرْشَدُونَ Here he's addressing the Prophet, peace be upon him, saying, And when my servants question you concerning me, then know that surely I am near. I answer the prayer, the dua of every supplicant when he calls upon me. So know in your heart that whenever you think of Allah, you ask of him, you call upon him, he always answers you, forever hearing and listening, breathing, relaxing your body, feeling the sensation of your toes, your heels, the balls of your feet bending and stretching, the motion of your knees, your hips, your elbows, all of your joints moving, coordinating in perfection, aware of all your bodily sensations, the warming glow surrounding you, being aware of the presence of ourselves in this world, knowing that Allah is the all-seer, the ever watchful, he watching you right now. Let's make an intention, if we haven't already, that this mindfulness walk is an act of ibadah, worship. That we take this opportunity to remember him. And we trust in him. As Allah says in the same verse, so let them hear my call and let them trust in me in order that they may be led aright. So as you walk, seemingly perhaps without direction or great intention or thought about where your feet are taking you, know that it is through Allah's guidance that you are here right now joining in with me in this remembrance. In the dhikr of Allah, in his remembrance, we feel contented, safe, secure, trusting in him and calling upon him. Calling upon Allah with full trust, knowing that he is listening and seeing all things we remember that he answers every du'a. So again, I'm just going to leave you momentarily as you think about the du'a that you want to make. So let us call upon him in the full knowledge that he answers every prayer.
So know that Allah heard your heart, what is in it and around it, what's on your mind and what's on your tongue, even when you don't utter it. We have just five minutes left together before we end this mindfulness walk. So I said we were going to play a game. Without knowing it, you've already started the process. Just like before, I want you to come to a gradual standstill, reducing your speed, breathing and relaxing your body, and stop, keeping your eyes open. Now, do a very slow 360 turn. So, turn around very, very slowly, observing everything around you. Colours sights, smells, textures, touch something if it's anything there close by, it might be one of your children, a leaf, a branch of a tree, just notice where you are right now in this moment, the shuffle of your feet on the floor as you turn, where are you right now? Look where you are. Where has Allah brought you to in this very moment? What can you see? What can you hear? What do you smell? What can you touch? Everything around you has a purpose, as do you. The verses we have just pondered upon during this walk. We recognised our blessings. We called upon Allah knowing that he is the all-hearing, placing our trust in him so that we may be guided. And... I wonder if there is a reason he has guided you to this very spot where you are right now. Take a breath in and out. Contemplate and reflect. If you want to, you can hit the pause button on this audio and really absorb yourself into this very place and time. Maybe you might like to take a photograph so you can share it with us afterwards. And when you're ready, we have just two more minutes left together. Let's go. If you wanted to do a little light jog here, this is a perfect time for you to do it. If not, you can even cool down and walk slower. It's entirely up to you. Bringing your awareness back inside of yourself, your muscles, as they're moving and traversing, almost feeling them rippling inside of you, as if you were a shell. You can almost see the colour of your muscles as they're moving, bending, stretching, dilating. Leaving your place, the guided spot leaving that place now and leaving it behind you, but taking something with you from what you experienced in that spot, in that place. Taking with you a lesson, a message, some insight, and using it as fuel to help you grow in your knowledge, in your spirit and your wisdom. In the final moments before you end, just really contemplate on what that message means and how it's going to help you to develop and grow, not just throughout this month of Ramadan, but thereafter. Thank you for joining me. 
I'll speak to you again next week on our next guided Ramadan walk.